Over the years, the thinking about what causes pain from osteoarthritis has changed. It used to be thought of as a purely mechanical grinding of the knee from constant repetitive action. And that does play a role in development of osteoarthritis, but now it's known to be more of an inflammatory response. So that's led to many new treatments. One of those treatments is something that we do here at Columbia, and it's called knee embolization or genicular artery embolization. It's an outpatient-based procedure. You come in in the morning and you go home in the afternoon. Uh, there's typically no pain in the knee associated with what we're doing. We make a tiny nick in the skin and put a very small tube into the artery. We then inject contrast media or dye to take pictures of the blood vessels. This confirms that you have good blood flow to the foot and then it identifies the arteries that go to the knee joint. We then take a small catheter that's about a millimeter and a half in diameter and we steer that under live x-ray into the arteries that go to the knee joint. Once we're there, we inject particles. These particles are typically 0.1 millimeters in diameter. What that does is it blocks these blood vessels and decreases the blood flow to the abnormal inflamed tissue within the knee joint and decreases the inflammatory response. And that decreased inflammatory response translates to less pain for patients. We have patients that they're not able to walk a block because of their knee pain. And after they undergo knee embolization, they're able to walk around the city all day without pain. We've even had patients that are able to run half marathons and things like that. If you're a patient that has knee pain from osteoarthritis or arthritis, and you've had a steroid injection and you've had other injections into your knee and they're not working anymore and you're really kind of weighing should I go ahead and go for the knee replacement or not but you don't really want to take that step yet that's when you should contact an interventional radiologist.